Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Emily and today is a product review of the Jeep by Delta Children Unlimited Reversible Handle Stroller in Grade Tweed. Before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That way you're notified of all the latest here at EP Life. And without further ado, let's move on to the assembly. First things first, everyone, everything mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box below. This is actually our second stroller. We picked this stroller to have a lightweight alternative to our Chico Bravo travel system, which will also be linked in the description below. I gravitated this stroller, number one, because of its price. Its retail price is $99, which is pretty affordable for this kind of stroller on the market. And also the fact that it has a reversible handle. I really hated that my Bravo did not have the option to have my baby parent facing. So I wanted to have this option to be able to have him viewed on both ways, facing me and facing the outside world. So for more, keep on watching. You move slow when I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes This was the most complicated part of assembling the stroller, which was putting the back tires onto that rod. You want to make sure you put that little metal piece in properly and then put the cap on the stroller. You want to make sure also that you don't throw out any of those small pieces. They come in that box. So we were looking for it for about 10 minutes and we realized they were in the box. We almost accidentally threw them out. But other than that, the stroller took an average about 30 minutes to build maybe more on the 20 minute side if you're not running around looking for the pieces like we did I will never be the same cuz that's what it takes Now the stroller is all assembled here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the Jeep and my Bravo now right now I'm using the Bravo to hold the car seat so it does make the Bravo a lot heavier but even still without the car seat the Jeep does not beat it it is way lighter here is my husband comparing by lifting each one and he said that though the Bravo is lighter without the car seat the Jeep is definitely lighter there's also a difference in tire size. The Bravo has way bigger tires. The Jeep has smaller tires. The Jeep's sun visor is user-friendly, but it does have this little notch in order to move it in and out, which is kind of annoying if you're trying to do something in a rush. So it does have that extended sun visor on the end, but you do have to click that in and out in order to lock it in place. Obviously my Bravo does not have that. I'm able to pull it with no problem. I wanted to add this in as well. If you need an infant insert, I will link this in the description below. I actually use this for my son who's two months old. He cannot hold his head up on his own. And this infant insert works in the Jeep. It is very comfortable, breathable, and he loves it. And it works well with the five point harness. So I'll be linking this in the description below. My baby was not available at the moment to show what the infant insert looked like, so we are using his Build-A-Bear. As you can see, the five-point harness works really well with that infant insert. And I'm also showing here that this stroller, you're able to have the baby at a slight recline and completely all the way back. So that's definitely a pro depending on the age of the child if you want to have them out for a long period of time 
and you want to recline them all the way back and lay flat they can definitely do that with this stroller and of course you have that sun visor so in the event that you want to block the sunlight from them you can do that as well while they are laying now for the parenting part of our piece here obviously the kid has a cup holder and a snack tray the parents do not have anything so this is definitely a con i have with this stroller i bought an alternative which you'll see in a few moments but there is no cup holder nothing for parents to hold their keys phone anything as such also the cargo basket is pretty small it looks big in pictures but when you go to use it, it is actually quite small. It's good for maybe a diaper bag, maybe a blanket, maybe a toy or two. But it is definitely not that big as it appears. Whereas my Bravo's basket is huge, I'm able to keep everything in there from the rain cover to my stroller, <laughs> junk mail, a nursing cover, mosquito net, and wipes. So definitely a difference and I do notice I miss out on the big basket when I'm out with the Jeep. Here my husband is demonstrating the opening and closing of the stroller so you press that button on the side and kind of push the stroller out and snap it out so you hear that click. Now I will say this is a stroller that's definitely not a one hand fold so something to keep in mind if you are by yourself and on the go. We mainly uh, chose the stroller to be on the go so this is something that we're going to have to work with with trial and error obviously. If you notice, he's actually struggling to close it as we speak because another con we notice is the stroller will not fully close unless the tires in the front are completely straight. So if those stroller tires are crooked in any way, you will have this difficulty. At first we thought it was because of the insert, but we notice, see here, as he clicks those tires back, the stroller snaps closed. So that's something to keep in mind when purchasing this item it doesn't really bother us but it may bother somebody else it is a very light stroller you're obviously able to carry it with one hand over your shoulder and be comfortable another con with this stroller is if you are standing somewhere and for whatever reason need to let the stroller go it does not stand on its own so here is an example my husband is holding the stroller and once he lets it go, it instantly tips over. No matter what way he holds it or what way he positions it, once he lets the stroller go, it tips over. So it's something that if you're going to be waiting for a bus traveling in a city like we are, you're going to have to have it propped up or maybe wait until the bus arrives to go ahead and close it. Because if not, it will tip over if somebody isn't holding it. Because you're able to drive the stroller both ways, both parent facing and the opposite way, it does have brakes in the back. So here is the rear brake on that rear pole for the back tires. And then if you look here in the front, each front tire has its own brake. So that definitely comes in handy depending on which way you decide to push the stroller. I purchased this Buggy Buddy made by Diono off of Amazon. This is a universal stroller accessory to fill that void that I mentioned earlier about not having anything for the parent. We're usually out with the stroller for long periods of time, so we like to have our coffee cups or cup of water, wipes, wallet, keys. So there were a few complaints on Amazon that it wouldn't hold a Starbucks cup. Clearly, my husband's cup is bigger than a Starbucks cup, and it does have an elastic on the left and right side for you to stick cups in and yeah it has a little tight grip but it definitely fits the only thing i would say is just don't have a full cup because if you hit a bump that's it there is coffee water or anything all over the place the inside pocket also has a little zipper if you want to keep valuables out of sight whom better to test out a stroller than my adorable two-month-old this is my husband putting him in the stroller to see how he does with the infant insert. And we also wanted to see how easy and how secure that five point harness was. And it is in fact very easy. The material of the clip feels cheap, but it's actually pretty strong. And you also have reflective armbands on the arm straps and he likes it. He is very comfy clearly, as you can see. And this is a great alternative also if you want to have the baby sitting fully up or also have them reclined. Since he is still really small, we don't have him sitting all the way up except right now for this video. We usually have him either at that half point reclining or fully reclined. 
so clearly he loves it so now it is time to get him out get him dressed see even with him in the stroller it's still pretty light out and dressed and out for a test drive apologize everyone there had to be the plastic on the stroller because in new york it is still pretty cold out so here are some clips of me just pushing the stroller out and about in our neighborhood. Now, it does feel when you're pushing it as if you're pushing a baby doll stroller. That's how light it feels. So, you know, compared to pushing my other stroller, it took me some time to get used to it. But I really wanted to take it out in the neighborhood and walk around various places to see how it would deal with certain levels of pavement. See if it's able to handle ditches in the concrete, potholes in the street things like that but so far it's a pretty smooth ride i deliberately went into bumps to see how it would do and it handled it pretty smoothly i will say that you do hear some type of like bells and whistles it almost sounds as if something is loose in the stroller but i think that's just from it being such a lightweight stroller the turns were pretty smooth uh obviously baby fell right to sleep definitely a smooth ride i enjoy pushing it because i feel like i'm not pushing anything to be honest and as you can see i did make a stop at the store so let's give you an idea of how small that basket really is then i went ahead and reversed the handlebar to have the baby parent facing one thing i noticed that was kind of annoying for me personally was i had to pull off the entire plastic and put it on again because I moved the handlebar. Not all plastics have this, so I really wouldn't worry about that. But the main concern, obviously, you will read it all over the internet when it comes to this stroller, is when you reverse the handle, your tires don't change. So it kind of makes driving while pushing the stroller a little different. You have to get used to it. I find that when I'm in tight spaces, it's a little uncomfortable, like getting into my apartment building, the minute I get into the lobby, there's steps. So making sharp turns was a bit of a challenge, but I knew if going ahead and making wider turns or normal turns wasn't that bad if I turned the stroller first and then let the tires follow. Aside from that, I think this is a great stroller. It's definitely going to get what I need done in terms of quick trips into the city. Yes, the cons are it doesn't have much for the parent. There are additional accessories you could purchase. I don't like that it doesn't stand on its own when folded. I really wish that it would fold a little simpler for somebody being by themselves. But I would give it a solid 8 out of 10. I definitely enjoy using it. But I thank you so much for watching my review. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Hit that subscribe button, that way you'll be notified of all the latest here at EP Life. And stay tuned for more product reviews, and we'll catch you next time. Bye!